Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, remove product from wishlist. So let's see how can we remove product from wishlist. So for that, uh, go to the wishlist controller. So just go inside the app directory, HTTP controllers, and let's open the wishlist controller. And inside this controller, let's create a function here, public function, and function name remove item okay and inside this function just pass here the an argument which is row id and then cart column column instance and pass here the instance name which is this list and then call the remove method and inside this remove method uh, just pass this row id okay and now return back okay and uh, here let's create one more function for empty the wish list so right here public function and function name empty and empty this list okay and inside this simply write here card instance and pass here the instance name this list call here the method destroy okay and then return back now let's create a route for these two uh, functions so go to the web.php file the routes folder web.php and here let's create a route uh, method delete and add here the URI us list slash item slash remove okay and pass here the item id which is row id okay this is the route parameter and now add here the controller name was list controller column column class and then method name which is this one remove item okay and give the route name this list dot item dot remove okay and now create another route route method name delete and this time this list slash uh, let's say clear okay and that is the controller name this list controller and then column column class method name which is this one empty this list so right here and now name route name which is this list this list dot items dot clear okay and now save this okay now let's open the this list view file so just go inside the resources directory views and let's open this list dot play dot php file okay and uh, here you can see here the, the remove button okay this one and also change here the text header text action okay and now before this anchor tag just add here the form and uh, method post and action action is equal to double curly bracket and let's copy this route name and add here route this one this list item dot remove now close this form and just close the form after this closing end okay and now add here the uh, 
at the rate csrf and also pass in the method directive and pass the method name delete okay and inside this route uh, just pass in the row id also so that is the big bracket the row id and then arrow sign dollar item dot row id okay now save this and now this uh, anchor inside this anchor tag just add another javascript wide plus the zero and then add the all on click event on click and document document dot get element by id okay and inside this just pass here the id of this form so first of all set here the id we remove item okay and let's copy and pass here we remove item okay and now call the submit method so right here submit okay now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay now let's remove this one and you can one product has been removed okay now let's remove this one image is not changing here the row id and this one okay here i did one mistake uh, along this id uh, just concatenate here the item id okay so a double curly bracket and then add a dash here and just uh, pass here the item item arrow id and now uh, inside this javascript just add here this one double curly bracket dollar item arrow id okay now save uh, let's check again so we press the page let's remove this one and this time it's working okay now let's remove this one also okay all here uh, let's display here our message if no item in this list so for that uh, before this before this deep uh, let's add here if directive if card column column instance and pass here the instance name this list then call here the content method okay and then count if count is greater than zero then display uh, this table and uh, okay otherwise inside the else part just close this if so right here in there and inside the else part let display here a message so first add here the row then column uh, empty 12 okay this one and now display here the message we type no item found in 
your guest list okay close this p tag and also add here the anchor tag the anchor tag href and add the link of the shop so write in route and shop.index and also add here the class is equal to btn btn info okay and add here the text with list now close the anchor tag now save this and let's check so refresh the page okay you can see here no item found in your web list now click on this icon and here is the soft page now let's add this product to this list this also okay and now go to the this list page and you can see here the this listed item okay now let's make working this one uh, just change here the text for empty wish list so right here change here the text clear uh, clear wish list okay I'm just doing this one and now add here the form okay and uh, set the method here method is equal to post and then action action is equal to route and pass here the route name which is this one this list item the items dot clear okay so just right here now close this form and after this button just close the form okay and inside this button just add in the type is equal to submit also add here the at the rate csrf and method delete okay now save this and Let's check. So refresh the page. You can see here clear the wish list button. Now let's clear the all item from the wish list. So just click on this button, and you can see here all item uh, cleared from the wish list. Okay. Now go to the shop page and uh, let's add uh, item to the wish list. And now uh, let's add a link for the remove. Uh, item from the wish list from this icon okay if item added in your wish list so for that go to the shop page and uh, let's open shop view and inside this so let's add here a form so let's copy this form and paste here and close after this button so right here and uh, here just add uh, change here the route name to this one okay and also pass here the row id so uh, right here big bracket then row id arrow sign and let's pass here the row id so let's copy this okay and uh, inside this just paste here and uh, call here the first method and just access the row id this way Okay, and now inside this form, let's add here the uh, rate CSRF and then method and pass here the method name which is delete. Okay, now save this file 
Now let's check. So refresh the page. You can see here this product is in uh, this list. Okay, now just click again and uh, Form action is this one, no ID, okay. Okay, you can see here it's working, okay. And now let's check again, so just add this one. Now let's remove, and you can see here the product removed, okay, from this list. Now do same thing on the details page. So let's open the details page. Uh, first of all, let's copy this form and also this one. And go to the details page. And uh, here, this one is the uh, this list add. Okay. And now inside this, inside this if part, I'll just add here the form okay and now close after this anchor tag okay Let's close this form and uh, here inside this form let's add here the form id so right here id is equal to frm remove okay remove from remove item okay and now let's copy this id and uh, inside the anchor tag this one just add here the on click event on click and uh, document dot get element by id and just pass here the id this one and then call the submit method okay now save save this file and let's check so just refresh the page and just click on details so click on uh, product and you can see the details now add this product to the wish list add it now just remove and you can see here remove from wish list okay now all are working uh, on hover, let's change the text here. So on soft page, just uh, add here the text to remove from the wish list. Okay. All right. So in this way, you can remove product from this list. So that's all about removing product from this list. So thanks for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.